Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockCharts.com. You are tuned into a video edition of The Mailbag, and today we're going to talk about perf charts and candle glance charts and show you 14 essential lists. So perf charts are performance charts, and charters can enter up to 10 symbols to compare the performance against each other. You can use absolute performance or relative performance. Relative performance would be like against a benchmark like the S&P 500. Candle glance charts give you small charts and you can enter up to 12 symbols and view all 12 charts on one page. So it gives you a quick overview of what's happening as far as price action is concerned. Now, if you want to create a perf chart or a candle glance chart, you can do that real easily. At the top of every web page, just under the main tabs, you'll see create a chart. And you can click that link to select a different chart style. So if I want a perf chart, I'll click perf chart. And I can enter up to 10 comma separated symbols there and click go to get my perf chart. And so in this example, I've created a perf chart for SPY and the nine sector SPDRs. Now it's a little big for this video, so I had to resize it. And you can scroll down and you can see this perf chart gives you a 200 day look at the performance for SPY and the nine sectors. I can change that to histogram in the lower left hand corner so I can just see a quick performance. You can go over to that 200 day tab and you can right click and you can change the time frame. So I'm going to click year to date. And then if you scroll back to the top, you can see your sectors and SPY at the top. And if I want to make SPY the benchmark, I would click on that tab at the top. And now we're seeing performance relative to SPY year to date. And we can see that healthcare is outperforming and so are utilities. On the positive side, we have technology leading the market as far as the offensive sectors are concerned. So what if I'm interested in the technology sector and I want to see what's happening within that sector? Well, I can look at a candle glance chart showing XLK and the top 10 components. And actually, I could add the top 11 if I wanted because you can create up to 12 candle glance charts. And so I would go up to the create a chart box again, choose candle glance, and I would enter my symbols and click go. And in this example, I've entered SPY first, XLK second, and then the top 10 components. And then you can see it's very easy to scroll down and see how they are performing. Apple and Google are at the top. And we have Microsoft and IBM, Telephone and Verizon, Oracle and Qualcomm, and Cisco and Visa. So very quickly, you can see how the top 10 stocks in that sector are performing. You can also change the settings at the bottom. You can go to six months, a year, point and figure, and you can even add an indicator. So what I have done is I have created a list and there are 14 groups here. And you can copy and paste these symbols. So for instance, if you want to do the major index ETFs, you would copy from DIA to QQEW. And then you could paste that and create a perf chart or a candle glance chart. Now keep in mind you can only do 10 symbols for a perf chart and 12 symbols for a candle glance chart. But you can see these are very handy groups. We have the equal weight sectors, the sector SBDRs, key industry group ETFs, intermarket ETFs, and then we have the nine sector SPDRs. First we have SPY, then we have the sector SBDR, and then we have the top 10 stocks. So that's a really good and quick way to get an overview of what's happening in these groups. And you can find the copy and paste version on the written commentary. All right, this concludes this version of the mailbag. I hope you find the symbol list useful. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.